And my friends, if you're willing to turn from your sins, trust in Jesus today, you can be saved. But if you're not willing, then you will end up in the lake of fire. And that's a terrible fate. We don't want anybody to end up in the lake of fire, right? You wouldn't want to end up in the lake of fire in hell. I would not. Yeah, so good. That's good. Good sense. So, yeah, turn from your sins today, whatever they may be. For fornication, adultery, abortion, hating your brother, your uh, lying, theft, blasphemy, adultery, fornication, all of those things are are sins that will send you to hell. And we don't want people to go to hell. We want them to be saved into God's glorious kingdom forever. Wouldn't that be great? I'm looking forward to, to heaven to hear how God saved people, what their story was, how they were locked in sin, stuck in a sin that they love, like these people have admitted that they love their sin, and that's okay, that's honest. If you love your sin today, I'm saying to, to turn, to, I'm saying to turn from your sins today, turn from your sins today, young woman, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you can be saved from sin, death, and hell into God's glorious kingdom. His kingdom is glorious, and he can save from the uttermost, or as some preacher said, from the guttermost. He saves us from the gutter of sin where we lay in filth in our in our iniquity, in our sin, until God reaches down with a gracious hand and comes to redeem us. That's an amazing thing that God would save wretches like us, right? But you may not think that today. You may think, oh, I'm a good person. But if, if you've broken the law of God by by lying, theft, blasphemy, lust, idolatry, fornication, then you are guilty of breaking God's law. And the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal 